On the Siemens Community Forum, I was asked this question. NX1980 converting to sheet metal. This adds a new function. I used NX10 before. Now I want to know the function and purpose of this new function. So what we did actually back in NX12, we enhanced the convert to sheet metal command. Uh, NX12 was released in 2017. So this is already four years old, but let's go through and just recap on what those changes were. So I've got a simple part here, uh, nothing too complicated, just a small segment from a, a part that's intended to be made in sheet metal. And it's just a simple body that we're going to try and convert. Now, if we use the visual reporting tools and look at the sheet metal face type, which is in the list, it's an out of the box report, nothing special there. And we run this, we can tell as far as sheet metal is concerned, this is got all of its faces is just a type other. So it's not a sheet metal part. So we'll just deactivate that report and we'll go to our convert to sheet metal command. And what you'll see in this command is beyond NX12 and NX11, we had a single click, click and convert. And you'll see a lot more options for the conversion to give you better manual control about what can be done. So I can still do a single click and convert. We've also added a dynamic preview, which is off by default, depending on the size of the part, this could delay the, the result, but this is a fairly simple part. And we can see here that the conversion is successful. So things have actually converted, but the highlighted faces are identified as deformed faces. So these faces here are deformed. So that means they will not flatten or can be used uh, downstream in other sheet metal commands and features. And this part here is also uh, deformed. But we'll go ahead and commit that so we can analyze exactly what's going on. So when we rerun the report, we can see as predicted or as shown within the, uh, within the dialogue that these areas are deformed and we can't do anything with them. So if I go back into the convert to sheet metal command, we've got this local conversion group here. So I can select a base face and pick this face here. Faces to convert everything downstream from that part and OK this again. And when we go back to our visual report, we can see that these now have been successfully converted. This one still hasn't. It's just a deform area. Uh, we can choose to do that separately if we choose, uh, but at the moment we'll just leave it as it is now. So let's go ahead and deactivate that here and see how successful we are. What I'm going to do is to unbend all of the, the bends. And we can see that we've got an unable to create body. So there's something else going on with this part that's preventing the successful conversion. Now, if we go and look at all the interfaces and interjections between the panels, we can see we've got some, we've got a join here or, or these two parts come together. But if we look at this corner back here, we can actually see we've got some interfering geometry. So we've got this corner that's been made a bit of a mess of by whatever system created this part in the first place. So if we go back to our convert sheet metal feature, we can have a look at additional geometry. There's a number of options in here. The first one, we can select a bend face to be considered for advance. We've got no curved or non-cylindrical bends in this part, so we don't need to worry about that. But we do have this corner problem. So we can select adjacent bend faces to clean up this corner. So if I go ahead and select the adjacent faces and we can preview this, we can see that that corner has been cleaned up. And I can OK that and continue. And now we have a clean part that's been converted. We still have this one highlighted face that's not been uh, not been converted. If we want to do that, we still can, but we can't do more than a single local conversion within the same feature. But what you can do with convert sheet metal, you just add another feature. I can just do a, a local convert here and OK that, and we've now got a completely clean part. If we go to our report, we can see 
we've got our web and bem faces have all been successfully created and what that means is downstream i can now go ahead and if i need to i can create a flange off of this face i can create flanges off of this face and uh, we can continue with that part if i now run my unbend select all the parts there and we can see that we've got a complete flat representation of the converted part. If I look at some of the other options here within the dialog, um, just to go through for reference here, we can add bend relief when necessary. If we've got some interfering material here, we can actually add some bend relief if required. And also if the incoming material has a zero bend radius, we can actually maintain the zero bend radius rather than converting the bend radius to the default values within the part. And of course, as I've shown, we've got the preview there as well. So that's the updates and uh, progression on the convert sheet metal command, which makes it more user controlled and more powerful and easier to control exactly what needs to be done. Hope this has been helpful.